How are you? So I haven't posted a video in ages and there's a reason for that, all right? So we've been really busy. So I'll tell you what's up to happen anyway. If you remember the Rover that I, you know, the, the V8, the P6. So that's back down in the garage because the lower half of the uh, power steering hose burst. <laughs> so what happened was, your man replaced the hose for me. It's a two part hose and he replaced the top part and he cleaned up the bottom part. He didn't do it on purpose, he just wasn't thinking. And a blister came about on the bottom part and I spotted it and then it popped. So that's been sitting in the garage because I haven't had time to replace it. It's a 10 minute job, but it is a matter of getting out and getting the hose repaired, which is across on this outside. Anyway, I digress. So what has been happening in the last couple of months? Come here and I show you something. So due to my own stupidity, I had the pleasure of uh, slamming the car. You see it? Here on the door. I managed to slam the car into a concrete pillar in an underground car park, which pushed the whole door in. So I managed to push the bulk of the door back out, and I got a replacement trim across that, and it looks okay. But you can see here, it's, it's damaged there, and it's damaged down there. So the plan is, leave that till after Christmas, and then what we do is, we're gonna get it resprayed, because it needs a respray, and when she's getting resprayed, we get the door sorted out as well. So, what are we doing? So I'll tell you what we're doing, we have this fella over here. Okay, and this fella we picked up a couple of weeks ago. He's a Peugeot boxer. Uh, and what we're going to do is, I don't know if it's worth doing YouTube videos about it, I don't think I will, is we're going to convert it into a camper van. All right? Uh, and the reason we're converting it into a camper van is because of this fella here. So this is why we've been so busy and we haven't been on, uh, we haven't been posting up on Facebook lately. It's because this fella here, as you can see, is ready to rock. This is their uh, new hill climb car. Class looking at the piece of machinery. We had it wrapped last week. Darren wrapped it for us. Uh, done a class job, as you can see inside. So we're going into hill climb next season. And uh, we're going out for a couple of practice laps. So basically what I'm saying to you is, this, this is where we've been. This is why I haven't posted up in the last while. I've been preoccupied with this, getting this ready, and now we're preoccupied with turning this into a camper van because we are hoping to go to, also go to uh, Goodwood next July. So yeah, so that's where it's at. So that's, that's where I've been and that's what I've been doing and that's why I haven't posted up videos lately. So the Rover's back in the garage with a busted hose. The Mercedes, Due to stupidity, I lashed into a pillar, but it's still working, I still use it every day. And then the box I hear is the next project is to convert to a camper van. That's gonna be epic. And uh, I think it's it's all right. We've stripped it out, we removed the bulkhead, but the bulkhead's going back in because it's far too noisy and I'm freezing in there. Nice set of tires we picked up. Uh oh, we're going to Antrim tomorrow to pick up a trailer for the hill climb car. So hopefully all will be good. And that's where we've been at. So I'll come back and I'll post up in a while. Uh, maybe in a couple of weeks or so. And uh, show you how we're getting on with the camper van. And I'm going to do a bit of work on the trailer as well when we collect it from Antrim and bring it down. So I'll do a couple of videos on that as well. Um, sorry I haven't put any videos up lately, but I will. It's freezing and I hate the cold. Good luck. <laughs>